Did you know that not only coconut husk can be used as a medium substrate for orchids, but coconut water has great benefits as a stimulant to speed up orchid leaf, roots, and flower spikes grow? Raw coconut or extracted pure coconut water can be easily found in stores or online. But why do we use coconut water for orchids and how can we apply it wisely? What is so special about this magic liquid? Coconut water has been used in plant tissue culture dating as far back as 1940 and many recent publications have confirmed its effects on stimulating cell differentiation and proliferation in a wide variety of orchids. There is a significant part, up to 15% of coconut water in different orchid growing mediums for orchids, seed sprouting, and orchid propagation by cloning and micropropagation. I will explain. How do you think that orchids, the ones that you see in stores, how do you think they were propagated by growers? By seeds? Well, some of them are, but you'd be surprised that a vast majority of them are a result of micropropagation. And here's why. Almost all modern Phalaenopsis orchids, for example, are a result of heavy hybridization and gene modifications. Most of our favorite varieties are made in the lab with use of radiation or chemical-induced mutagenesis, toxins like colchicine, and other altering gene biotechnology. As a result, all these orchids cannot be propagated by seeds because simply they are sterile and there are no seeds, but if there are any, the offsprings are not viable and they are not going to carry any morphological characteristics of the parent orchid plant. That is why these genetically manipulated derived progeny must be propagated only by tissue culture or cloning techniques, and they are. Coconut water plays a significant role in these processes by helping young baby orchids to grow. Coconut water is the liquid suspending the developing endosperm of immature coconuts, the largest seeds on earth. As the coconut matures, the properties of coconut water also change, and it is the coconut water from young immature, which are still developing, that contain most of the ingredients which are beneficial for stimulating cell responses in orchid tissue culture. Just imagine, there are nine cytokinines which have been identified from coconut water, including zeatinoglucoside, indole-3-acetic acid, and others. It is impossible to know exactly which ones are having the desired effects. Alternatively, maybe combination, optimization, and nature control of those phytohormones are working together to promote orchid young plant growth. It is still not really understood, but meanwhile we can still use coconut water for our lovely orchids to promote their livelihood and healthy growth. To extract coconut water from a coconut is really simple. You just have to find one soft, dark spot on top and kind of open it with a knife. That exact hole is where the coconut sprouts through, so that's why it remains pretty soft, and you can open it from there. Coconut water is also good for us to drink or for cooking. There are nutrition lists which you can look at. Also, it is really easy to use on orchids. There are a few ways which it can be done without causing any problems. One of the first is to dilute it in a proportion of one to five in a spray bottle, shake it well, and apply on the orchid roots. I use coconut water maybe every other time after watering, depending on the season, once or twice a month. Another way to apply coconut water is when I use the submerging method to wet the orchid substrate. I just add some coconut water into the watering solution before submerging. I may fertilize my orchids during the growing period and flower spike developing period, and I do not have to stop during the blooming period like with synthetic fertilizer. I've never seen as a result of this treatment any mold growing inside the substrate or on the healthy aerial roots or any other issues because the velamen and the media microbiota utilize everything very quickly for the benefit of the orchid. And the last method is if I'm growing the orchid in a vase or a terrarium environment for young damaged orchids that undergo rehabilitation, I simply take the orchid and submerge only the roots for 20 to 30 seconds in the solution. I can't really use a spray bottle because the root system is usually underdeveloped and even any small amount of sugar gets on the leaves or the monopodial stem. 
It can stimulate fungus or bacteria growth simply because these recovering orchids are not healthy enough to fight the infection. And that's not what I'm trying to achieve here. I also discard all the leftover solution because fermentation can occur fairly quickly. So I always use only fresh solution or use it all up completely. Coconut water contains nutrients like potassium, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, manganese, iron, zinc, especially important for sick orchids with yellow leaves or leafless or rootless orchids to speed up recovery, to improve healthy photosynthesis, formation of cell walls and membranes, gas exchange, and so on. So in conclusion, I just know that nature has its own recipe to fix any problems. We just have to pay a little bit more attention to these things. Thank you for watching.